Welcome back guys to another episode of Tackle Talk. Today we're talking about rubber, but before we get into that, I know I've been saying a lot. <laughs> I'm going to be speaking at the Wisconsin Mushy Muskie Bash in Wausau, and it's going to be really fun. We're going to see what are the dates on that? The dates are March 19th, 19th through the 20th. It'll, I'll be speaking on the Saturday afternoon. Yep. Yep. I mean... So, first of all, we're going to start off, see, what do we say in the boat? We always like to go big or go home. Go big or go home. So, we're going to start off with the big pounders. We're going to go with the pounders. We're right out of the off gate. The we're talking big rubber for big fish. And obviously, I can't throw pounders right now. <laughs> <laughs> Little dislocate, or, uh, dislocated elbow issue from Broken. wrestling. Yeah. Yep. Um, yeah, pounders. Pounders. I throw pounders uh, a lot of times when I get to Minnesota. Um, big baits. They really like big baits over there uh, because of the size forge. It's, it's all yeah. about the forge, so the tula bees and everything. So tula bees, big so, suckers, whatever they. Eat. So big pounders and might always end up, you know, and then late late fall in Wisconsin, you know, in November we're ripping. I know you were throwing, uh, in Chippewa River last year you were throwing pounders in the fall. See if and, they can imitate a big sucker that they're eating. Exactly. Yep. So, um, things I like to look. I love the Pro Dog, the Muskie Innovation Pro Dog uh, pounders. The they just hop so nice. They're weighted uh, really good. Um, definitely, in my opinion, try to try to go with those, um, especially if you're working that that deeper water. Um, if, if you got some. And, you know, if there's some shallow rock that you're working, you definitely go with the with the uh, shallow version of the, yeah. of the powder. Yeah, but, you know, they always got a they always got a hole in the top fin, both them and the deuces, um, to sh when they uh, yeah, when they're the mean. shallow version. You know, if you can get your hands on some, this is an old China dog. Uh, Musky Innovations used to have them manufactured in China, and um, these were just a touch heavier and they fell faster and uh, so if you're fishing deeper water yeah i got a 51 on this one in minnesota is that a twinkie color it's an old twinkie color yep um i like twinkies you can't find these anymore uh they're i i almost hate throwing this because it's the last one i own but you know it's just a bait to me so i just throw it so um <laughs> just keep repairing them keep throwing them but have a few, if you, especially if you get over in Minnesota or Lake of the Woods, late fall, got to have some pounders. Yep. You know, Eagle Lake's been known for big pounders, too. Yep. So. Okay, what's the second biggest bait? Second biggest bait that we got Maybe here. Dogs what you, what, or... Well, we're going to go with dogs. We're I mean, going to go it's, dogs, and then we're moving on to the deuces. Mag dogs. Mag dogs. Mag dogs. What's one of your favorite color mag dogs to throw? Pickleback. Pickleback. You can see this one's been beaten. Rewelded re and welded again. Pickleback is a good color. I don't know why. It's really bright, but it's kind of fuddly. Yeah, it's kind of ugly. I kind of call it fuddly, but <laughs> it works everywhere. I mean, it just does, and you know, then you go right with it with rotten cucumber. I mean, that's another one. Again, these are pro dogs. And I, we just like the pro dogs and how they hop, you know, and you get them and just pop, and they pop, and pop, and they just they just really got a nice, nice hop to them. And sometimes with the old dogs, the, they kind of, the metal kind of pops out of place and they don't run right sometimes. Yeah. And these are just... They run really true. You know, when you want to hop them alongside the boat and get them to, get them to really swing. I mean, tell me, I mean, what do you like? You like to come up and make them kind of yeah. hang. Kind of like a suic or something. Kind of like a suic. You can actually pop them and make them hang in that outside corner and they'll just come up and T-bone them. So, yep. Um, great colors. These, these right now, I would definitely, if I was anyone out there, start out with those colors. Um, you know, they got, if you go to the shows, you can stuff, you can get some nice. That's a cool looking color. Fun one. We got a nice fish on this one last year. You did. Um, you know, old school wise and I, and they're hard to find this this is i got like three left and these are old school china pro dog walleyes this is already chewed up and i don't know how many times i've rewelded this one it looks like it's been drugged down a road <laughs> um 
and I got a couple that are worse than that, actually. You actually have one that's like almost brand new because you still had it in a box. Yeah. Although that one's gone. He's already uh, destroyed. Yeah, we've caught like three fish on that um, one. <laughs> but yeah, great baits. The older ones it just seems like even compared to the older China dogs compared to the newer pro dogs, they just fell a touch faster. And I don't know if that was what made them react, but you know, they'd come up and they would pound them and, um, you know, because nobody throws something that falls that fast now. Yep, when it happens so fast, exactly. Everybody's throwing all you, the new stuff. You could put weight on a pro on, on one, you know, add more weight to get that get that whole method again. Yeah. But there's ways of doctoring it up, I guess, to get that to get that same speed and and that same reaction yeah. bite. I don't know what it is, but yeah, but yeah, whether it's just confidence, I don't know. But you know, those get wet a lot in our boat during the year. Um, uh, sure. Then. Um, you know, then you got the double dog. Love this in the fall. Um, we've had some multiple fish days on double dogs. They they just fall slower. Yeah. I mean, when you once you hit that mid October, I don't want a fast drop on a dog anymore. I don't want a fast drop on a Dusa. I want something just to hang and go really slow as you're popping it. Because yeah. the fish aren't going to be moving as fast as they would, like, August or something. They won't even react on a fast bait. They want a slow bait. I mean, yeah. so with the double tails, it really comes down Looks slow. Looks like a sucker. It comes down really slow. Do real well on the Musk Innovation double dog then, too. Um, get into deuces. Okay. Love the deuces. Love. Tell me about the day you had last year ripping deuces. Last year I was throwing husky, no, regular. Regular deuces. Regular deuces. Yep. And I, I was throwing, I had caught a fish in two weeks. Yep. I was throwing it along this little spot that we have, and boom, gets smashed. 42 incher. Yep. 41 incher. Boom. Take four more casts. Boom, 44 incher. Yep. And then we go to the next spot. Switch over to switch a mid. Switch over to a mid Medusa, a little shower. Boom, 37 incher. And then right and then, before dark, it got one on top water. Well, so four fish day in Muscani. And it all, you know, wouldn't have got it if it wasn't for ripping rubber midday. Deuces. We started at noon. Yeah, because we had to go fix something. You had to fix something in the morning. We so we started something. at noon and you had a four fish day. Oh, yeah. So. So what happens? And I didn't catch one. You hog in the front of the boat again. Um, <laughs> what do you? How do you rip a dog? A uh, dusa. Tell me. I mean, tell tell. So when you're ripping, instead of just ripping, I go like this. I rip and kind of make a little circle. So you, so you roll cast it. You're rolling like this. Yeah. And and you're getting that that bait to hop, to yep. hop to go. Yep. And uh, there's a time. You got to play with speeds, you know, just like you do with bucktails. You know, there's a time where you want to rip a deuce super fast. Yeah. Like and, there, and there's a time when it's slow. So, you know, a lot of people just get stuck in the same rhythm. Change it up. Yeah. Change it up. I mean, I've had patterns even in summer where it's been the slow drop, bringing it down seven, eight feet, popping it up. Yeah. You know, m play around with the presentation. Don't get stuck in a rut. So, um, you know. We got some new colors too. This is uh, hell yeah. That's a today's angler color. Wait, today's angler color. I can't. I got. I some, can see why. We're gonna. <laughs> yeah, it's it's uh it's a good color. I I know we're gonna put some fish in the boat this oh, year. Oh, big this one. ones, big <laughs> ones. And then. You know, another new color that uh, uh, Chaos Tackle has out, and I know fish are. Is exact just loving this color. I think this one will smoke them. What's it called? Twisted tea. Twisted tea, and it is a beautiful color. Beautiful. So, chaos hook baits uh, come with the Those beautiful hooks. hooks. Really Always sharp. sharp. Always it's, sharp. So, best hooks in the market. Except you still have to sharpen them for me. Yeah, <laughs> give them a touch at least. But yeah, yeah they uh. Yeah, Turd Ferguson. Turd Ferguson, that's a... I've caught a 46 and 3 quarter on this color. Yeah, that is a, a bread and butter color. I love Turd Ferguson. Um, 
another one is straight black man it's it, yeah black on black is still a beautiful color do real well on that one it's proven producer um turd ferguson if you're fishing like a river or something where they might eat smallmouth yep that's what you do it's a it's a good smallmouth imitator good color, small really. mouth color yep Okay, want to move to the old school? old school? Old school. I still own an old school walleye Dusa that was made by Jason Summers. Uh, this is before Chaos Bottom. Mm -hmm. They're made a little bit, a uh, little bit different texture, a little different rubber. Harder. Har harder. They're a little heavier. Um, they still run the same. A little different body shape. Yeah, this one's got a 50 and a half on it. Um, it's they're just they're just great baits if you can if you have any or you can find any real old ones you know they just got a little different uh action to them but uh um definitely definitely a, a bread and butter type bait the next one this is a regular shallow dog shallow you see the hole you see the hole yep. i don't know if you see that regular shallow little hole right there that's great for about three, four feet of weeds. Nice yeah. crappie imitator color. It's got a bunch of teeth marks in yep. it. <laughs> yeah. When we get on the, when you see the crappies in, in, this is what we throw. Yeah. So. Big crappies. Yep. I mean, good. Mid Medusas. Mid Medusas. You like the mids. I like I mean, the mids. I mean, you caught some fish on regs last year. Yep. But the mids are your bread and butter. This is my favorite color right here. Yep. They don't make this color. It was like a limited time color. Perch pattern. Yep. And this color has so many teeth marks in it. I probably caught like oh eight nine fish eight on nine it. fish on this one. Yeah. I mean, we had three of them, but one of them decided to one of the fish jumped up in the air and decided to snap my leader. Yeah, I know. I remember that. That was not fun because I was uh, a big fish. Last year, you last year the mad chain. You were mad down chain. with uh, Lee and Robbie, Lee and, and you were Robbie throwing this this one. custom color. Uh, from Chaos Tackle and it's a beautiful color, beautiful color, and you should put three fish on film that day. <laughs> Your rod was loaded three times. I don't know what happened; they just popped off. Yeah, they were they were short grabbing tails. Is what they were doing it was happening to to Robbie too. And we got this new color that we just got. Is this eagle? Yeah, eagle. Eagle, yep. yeah. That one's gonna be good. I think it's another one that's more of a crappie type. I imitator. We got um, a regular one in this color too. Yeah. Can't wait to throw that this year. Can't wait. When you get these, you know, mids are, are, are neat. If you get, you can get them non-weighted and weighted. Sometimes it's better to get them all non-weighted and then, and then, and buy, then, and then buy the weights separate. That way you can do, you know, what you want with them instead of having multiples of the same grant. I mean, sure, the manufacturer would like you to buy multiple, but, but you know. Um, <laughs> We'd like you to buy multiple. <laughs> yeah, but the, you can just buy a shallow and then buy a weight, too, yeah. and it'll give you that same versatility. Because um, there's times where they, they won't react unless it's, unless it's got a, a fast head fall to it. And uh, so the weight system like this, it goes right in on here. You pop the hook off, put the slit it over the top, put the hook back on. It's real easy uh, with a and split ring pliers. And boom, you got another weight. And, yep, and you got a whole different presentation. So, okay, those are good colors too. That walleye. Last thing we have is a mini dusa. Minis. I do not know the color of this one. All I know is it's like a perch, but it's got a bright tail. Yep. <laughs> you moved some nice fish. On I did this. move some nice fish. Yeah, on a couple forties. This, this fall they were on that yeah. oh yeah another small bait the the, the pro dog um musky innovations uh regular dog um these especially on cold front days mm -hmm. fish aren't reacting very well to anything else going downsizing the size and um you can catch really good fish on these too so not just a spring bait just you know for cold fronts and stuff before too. we get into uh swim baits Let's grab our Bondi here. These are really nice jigging bait. I mean, we've caught some fish on these. I mean, we got a little blade in the back. It's, fun to, it's fun to jig them in the it fall. It is fun. When your hands are cold, you yep. put your hands in gloves. And, and you can see the muskies following them. Yeah. You know, 15 feet down. So. You even attract fish to your suckers. Yep, exactly. If you can use suckers. Depends on where you are. 
Now we have swim baits. Swim baits. Swim baits are fun. Swim baits um, are fun. It's they're really getting to be popular and for very good reasons. Uh, they're easy to fish. That is the nice thing too. Really easy for old people. Um, but they they really produce a lot of fish. This one last year was probably one of my better ones. Um, it, customer got a pretty good on. Customer got a really big dandy on it. Um, and there was, and it, they just pounded them. I remember that one it had just like that. Yeah, it had like an inch poking out of the side. You sent me a picture. Yep. Matt Ross, he got a 49 and a half with us on a swim oh, bait yeah. last year. I think that one was on a Musky Innovations uh, swim dog, I think. Yeah, I think that one was in Pickleback, too, <laughs> if I remember right. I don't remember. Um, last year, you raised a bunch of fish on the, on the shallow swimming dogs. Smaller ones, too. The smaller ones, yep. And... Um, Awesome. Yeah, the, uh, the you know you got the you got the smaller uh, shallow swimming dog, and it has a really nice belly roll and everything like that. But you still do good on the regulars. The you know they're kind of more flat. Um, you know this they're they're here's like a here's an old regular one, and they have a different wobble to them. But the the, the eight inch regulars that are flat, they they were uh, they were really good producers. I just found this one on the box. Yep. A lot of we times you can a... put a dozer blade out front of um, a swim bait. Yeah, we have... Now you got a 10 inch swim bait that makes it look like it's a 13. Yeah, you made that one, but you didn't You didn't even get a sniff on it. It was weird. Yeah. It looks really nice. It looks really nice, and it's just probably just was the, was the presentation and at the you time. Took it, so. And you took the blade off, and you moved the fish. Yep. <laughs> yeah, you never know what they like, you know. Yeah. I have friends of mine; they were crushing them on blades like that. Well, they were but they're, on they're on different bodies of water, so. Yep. Um, so you always got to try something. Maybe you'll catch a mega. Exactly, boost. exactly. Line through trout by Savage Gear. Um, you can. They used to have a problem with being, uh, pretty weak on the hook on the back. This they've improved it a little bit. They improved the, the wire. Um. They're, they're a really good bait, especially if you're in a really shallow river, uh, current break, up by a dam or whatever. They really got a nice, um, um, they'll run right at the surface. They run run really good. The big fish seem to really like them. So yeah. um, don't don't shy away from the Savage Gear line through trouts. I mean, when I go floating a river or doing whatever, uh, especially current situations, I mean, I've usually got one with me. So Yeah, okay. Now we got our Poseidons. Poseidons. Really good swim baits. These things run super good. Yep. Nice thump to them. Big tail and on the back. You can make them run deep or high. Mm -hmm. Yep. This is a perch color. And then new for and this year, we which we're going to score big time on. We just got a hell yeah. A hell yeah version. I love it. The same one we got in that Dusa. And it's going to get crushed. Yellow belly. Crushed. 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 Minnesota muskies are going to crush it. Maybe Wisconsin muskies too. Yeah, but I can't assume they won't like it. I troll. Okay. <laughs> can't be can't be biased, I guess. <laughs> oh, I know the Minnesota muskies are like it too. That's our swim baits. Swim baits. Another bait, especially when you were younger, did yeah. I mean this is a really good bait for really getting young kids into rubber. Um you caught a lot of fish on on uh, on bulldog or on uh, red october, october tubes. tubes red october tubes we always keep in our boat yep always have a box in it um you can get custom color i think this is a team rhino color right here um this they, they all you got to do is they cast really nice for a kid oh yeah and and the kid all he's got to do is just hop 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 and they, they hop like this so nice I back know, to the one boat. One year I caught like three or three or four in like a week in the like fall. Week, I mean, yeah. you were pounding them, and um, I think that was the only... hookup really ratio was really good on them. Um, highly recommend if you got any, you know, old. I mean, you still throw them now. I mean, oh, we yeah. still throw them now. I'm not we, saying I you're 12 years old. It ain't like you're an old. I mean, you've caught 134 muskies in your life, but it ain't like you're, you know, you're still I start, young. I started throwing the bigger <laughs> ones too, though. Yeah. You're throwing, you know, you've probably, you graduated up to where you're throwing now the, the bigger. So what I like is the medium weighted ninjas. These are, yep. that's what those are. Ninjas. And then we go with the medium weighted um, red October. Too. I just, I love the mediums. That's just me. I know 
Uh, friends of mine, that one I should have had a 53 yeah, incher on. I <laughs> lost one on on Green Bay on that one. I wake up in the morning and he he's sitting there on the chair because he was in Green Bay with Joel McGlung. Yep. That night and he comes home and he's like, I lost a 53. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody in the boat said it was 53. So yeah, it's just um, one of those me. things. Eight out of figure eight. I swung it out. Boom. But, this is one of my favorites. It's got like three big gashes down the middle. Yeah, I gotta move these. Yep. The tails. If you see those three big gashes down the middle. And you can replace these bodies real easy. Yeah. Um, I know this vendor is gonna be at the Wasa Muskie Bash, mm -hmm. which is cool. He's from he's from they're from out east. So if you ever want to get in with uh, uh, Red Octobers to see what the custom colors and everything they have, that's a good show because they don't come west that often. Um, this one happens to be one that is not a, a medium weighted. It's a regular one, and um, they work really good, especially if you're looking for like the top two foot yeah. column. So, but um, is that the shallow one? That's a shallow yeah, one. Yep, shallow exactly. One. Um, can't go wrong. One of our white one. One of our favorite colors all around is just the just the walleye one. Um, walleye. I know some guys that do real well on even just green ones. Um, yeah, green's weird. When you got them, really, you know, I see these shining a lot of times when it's flat, calm, and and nothing's going on and you just start ripping one of these right octobers really fast and uh, they create bites they really do so i would i know there was multiple fish in our boat last year on tubes so there was one time when we were fishing a river i think with matt ross and i cast it in front of you because i was sitting in the middle of the boat and you're like what happened and i cast it in front of you i took two rips and i got a 37. yep <laughs> Took it right out in front of me. Yep. Yeah. Well, that's it for the rubber we have. That's I mean, there's so much. Me. There's so much rubber out there. Yeah. I mean, I got more rubber in the garage too. But this Just is the hand. rubber. This is the rubber we use. This is yeah. our bread and butter. I literally took it out of the boat and said, "This is what we use." With you know, of all the rubber that we we put muskies in the there's, boat in the last few years, it, it's been on this. You know, there's some baits that are retired, caught too many fish. Yep, gotta gotta do that, but gotta retire them after about ten. <laughs> That's rubber fishing, way too but much. rubber creates strike. And whether you're on Lake St. Clair, like you've done out there, or yep. you're counting down deuces to twenty feet and ripping them up, yep. to you know working over shallow cabbage, just so many, over so many things, cabbage. so many things you can do with them. So, yep. Well, I appreciate uh, everybody chiming in on our series of tackle talk. It's been fun. It's been fun. I mean. We still got some more tackle talk to talk about. You think so? I think so. You think so? Oh, well, we might have a few more types of baits. What do we got? We've covered bucktails. We've covered, We've covered bucktails, does, jerk baits, jerk baits top, waters, top waters, and now rubber. So if you haven't seen those episodes, go back in our channel after you like and subscribe, and go back and check out those episodes check out too. Those episodes. What other ones should we do? We could do like moon rises. We got or times fishing times. I have an idea going on some on some di good. different things on uh, when to fish, yeah. how to pattern things. Yep. Yeah. So, okay. Okay. Well, make sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video or adventure.